We're back again, question two, non-monetary exchanges, but this time we're working on journal entries required to record the exchange for both companies, assuming the exchange has no commercial substance. Remember that means that both companies remain in the same economic position both before and after the exchange. It's as if the exchange never existed. There is no change to the total asset value before and after the exchange. Let's start with ABC Limited we're going to calculate what did they give up. Because it has no commercial substance, we use the carrying value of the old equipment to calculate what has been given up. Fair value is only used to calculate what was given up if it is with commercial substance. Without commercial substance, we always use carrying values. How is this calculated? Original cost, $60,000. Less accumulated depreciation, 21000 is equal to 39000 we now add in the cash paid, 2500 Remember, we add in the cash paid because that is part of what we had to give up in order to obtain the new equipment. The total amount given up is 41500 That should be the value of the new equipment, but we have to do a fair value check first. We look at the value of what we gave up, 41500 exactly what we just calculated. Compare it to the fair value of the equipment received, 41,000. The fair value of the equipment received is less than what we gave up. A fair value adjustment is required. The maximum amount that we can recognize this new equipment at is the fair value of the equipment received, $41,000. Let's do the entry. First, recognize the new equipment at the maximum amount that we're permitted to, $41,000. Next, get rid of the accumulated depreciation for the old equipment, $21,000. Get rid of the old equipment, $60,000. Recognize that we had to give up cash, $2,500. This entry doesn't balance. We therefore have to record a loss on disposal, $500. Can we calculate the loss on disposal mathematically? In this case, we just did a plug, but we can also calculate it. Let's do that. We look at the value given up, 38,500. How is this calculated? The fair value maximum, 41,000, less the cash paid, because when we gave up the asset, we didn't give up a full 41,000 because we paid a portion in cash of $2,500. Now compare that to the carrying value of the old equipment, 39000 The difference? The loss on disposal of $500. Notice that an exchange without commercial substance will only show a loss, never a gain. In addition, a loss will only happen if the fair value maximum rule is reached, as it was in this case. Let's move on to XYZ Limited, no commercial substance. What did they give up? Remember, it has no commercial substance, so we use the carrying value of the old equipment, which is equal to 42000 calculated as the original cost of 72000 less accumulated depreciation of 30000 Deduct the cash received. Why are we deducting the cash received? Because XYZ didn't have to give up 42000 They got $2,500 back. So in reality, they only gave up 39500 net. Now, this is what we should record the new asset at, as long as the fair value check doesn't apply. Let's do it. We need the fair value given up. The value given up is, of course, 39500 which we just calculated. We then have to compare it to the fair value of the equipment received, 35000 By now, you should know what this means. The fair value of the equipment received is less than the value of what XYZ gave up. So therefore, the maximum amount that XYZ can record their new equipment at is $35,000, the fair value maximum. Let's do the entry. First, we have to recognize the new equipment at the fair value maximum. $35,000. Now we have to recognize that we received cash, $2,500. We also have to get rid of the old accumulated depreciation, $30,000 direct from the chart. Now we have to get rid of the old equipment, $72,000.
this entry doesn't balance. Therefore, I have to record a loss on disposal. I know it's going to be a loss on disposal because one, the fair value maximum was hit. And two, for non-commercial substance transactions, the fair value maximum will only cause a loss. A gain can only ever be recorded if it is with commercial substance, and we are doing without commercial substance. Loss is $4,500. Can I calculate this loss mathematically? And the answer is yes. We look at the value given up, 37500 How did we calculate this? First, the fair value maximum, 35000 Then add in the cash received, 2500 for a total of 37500 Now compare it to the carrying value of the old equipment, $42,000. That's calculated as the original cost, $72,000, less the accumulated depreciation, $30,000. Carrying value, $42,000. Compare these two, $4,500, which is the loss on disposal. We've now recorded two entries. The entry for XYZ Limited without commercial substance showing a loss because we hit the fair value max, and the entry for ABC Limited with also a loss on disposal because we hit the fair value max. Remember, because the fair value maximum was reached by both companies, the exchange without commercial substance will only ever record a loss on disposal. Thanks so much for watching my video. In my next videos, we'll deal with a non-monetary exchange involving non-capital assets, such as an exchange of inventory for services.